Good afternoon and welcome to the Center Grove Tennis Center for today's match between number eight Center Grove and Oldenburg Academy. Hello one, Kevin Conrad along with Rick Embry. We welcome everyone to Center Grove Tennis, proudly presented by Jostens. Rick Embry, it's sunny, 60 degrees, but oh my, the wind, 20 mile an hour gusts. It's going to be difficult today for the players to, to battle the wind. Yeah, I'd say uh, those gusts are probably closer to 30, Kevin, but I mean, that's going to be the big thing. you got to be mentally strong today uh, and, and be able to handle this because, you know, you play one side of the court for two games and then you turn around and go to the other side and it's a completely different game that you got to be able to adjust. And it's, I mean, the good thing, obviously, both teams has to deal with the, the elements. But, uh, yeah, it definitely looks warmer than what it is. And bright sunshine makes it look warmer. But, man, that wind has been uh, blowing hard and, and gusting for all afternoon. And, and it'll be interesting to see how both uh, both teams adjust to that. Here's a check of our Justin's pre-match game notes. Again, sunny, windy, 60 degrees here at match time. Again, wind about 20 miles an hour. Gusty, though, know, up to 30-plus miles per hour. Head coach for the Trojans, Hall of Famer Debbie Burton. And for the Oldenburg Academy Twisters, head coach is Mark Wilder. You look at the team rankings. Center Grove this week, Rick, moving up a spot to number eight in the coaches' poll. And Oldenburg, even though they're undefeated, they are unranked at the moment. And today our camera is going to be focused on court three in this uh, great doubles match. Yeah, and in this doubles match for uh, for Center Grove, you've got a, a pair of seniors, so uh, a lot of experience there. Sutna Vias, Sydney Plowman um, come in with a, a record of seven and four, and they'll be facing uh, 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 some younger girls from Oldenburg Academy. Emma Beck, uh, who's a junior, and Evelyn Storms, who's a sophomore. So that should be a good matchup. We we haven't uh, focused on the one doubles team for Center Grove yet this year, so I'm looking forward to that match, but. Yeah, like you said, Center Grove walk comes in uh, up a spot, uh, ranked number eight, eight and three record. But their three losses this year are to number two Carmel, four one, uh, number three Park Tudor this week, three two, and then number four Columbus North, three two. So uh, they've been competitive in all three of those matches to number two, number three, number four, and then have taken care of business in, in the, uh, their eight wins. Uh, Oldenburg Academy comes in nine and zero on the year. Uh, their best win so far this year is against uh, number 28, Seymour, who they beat 3-2. So, uh, you know, this is probably a little bit of a step up competition-wise for them, but uh, they come in obviously uh, perfect on the season. Rick, let's go ahead and look at the other courts as well tonight on court one, the number one singles matchup for the Oldenburg Academy Twisters. You have sophomore Teresa Wonstrath uh, up against Center Grove's senior Ashley Fisk who's 9 and 2 on the season. Yeah, Ashley's had a really good start to the season. Uh, uh, only two losses on the year to Columbus North and then Park Tudor had a big win, three set win against Carmel early this year. So Ashley has has been uh, been very good so far this year as evidenced by her record. On court number 2, two singles for Oldenburg Academy sophomore Mimi Wilder. She is the uh, coach's son here, or coach's daughter, I should say, and the number two singles player for the Center Grove Trojan senior, Sonia Vias, who's five and six on the year. Yeah, Sonia had a very good uh, win earlier this week, a, a three-set win in the county against Franklin. Um, so she comes in, and, and like you said, she'll be facing off against uh, uh, the daughter of the head coach, uh, Mark Wilder, uh, Mimi Wilder, who's a sophomore. On court five, we had three singles, Alyssa Wanstrath, she's a junior, up against Center Grove's freshman, Deep D. Shankar, who's 8-3 and three on the year. Yeah, Deep D's done a very good job this year as a freshman, and and uh, she comes in against uh, another Wanstroth, but I believe they're second cousins, not sisters, but Alyssa Wanstroth, who's a junior against the freshman, Shankar. And we've already talked about court number three, the number one doubles match that you're watching as they are warming up. It will go now to court four, the number two doubles matchup. First for Oldenburg Academy, we have freshman Isabel Price matched up with uh, Mary Hunter, who's a sophomore, going up against Center Grove's Hudson Gilstorf, who's a junior, and Lauren Dick, who's a freshman. Gilstorf and Dick on the season, 10 wins, one loss. Yeah, they've been very impressive. We had them in, uh, earlier this week at the, at the county championship against Franklin. But, yeah, they've, they've come in with the best record for Center Grove on the year. That's uh, Gilsdorf and uh, and Dick, who, who really have some good chemistry there at two doubles, and, and they've been uh, very close to an automatic win for Center Grove with a very impressive 10-1 record on the year. 
So, Rick, you and I were here on Monday at the Center Grove Tennis Center for the 2021 Johnson County Tournament Championship match. The Center Grove Trojans won the county title over Franklin 4-1. to one. And very windy day on Monday, uh, but I think it's even windier today than it was Monday. Yeah, I agree in that a uh, little bit of a different match there on Monday. It was a match that had started uh, last Saturday, and then uh, they only got about 20 minutes in before the rain started. So kind of restarting halfway through a match is sometimes a little bit difficult, but Senator Grove did a good job of taking care of business in a couple spots, pretty easy, one singles and, and three singles. Uh, two doubles had a little bit of a letdown in that first uh, in that first set after having a lead uh, starting off on Monday, but they came back strong and won pretty handily. And then uh, one doubles had a real tough match uh, against Franklin, uh, undefeated Franklin, one doubles team, 6-4, 7-5. So a close match there. And then, uh, like we talked about, Sonia had uh, two singles, had a, a really nice three-set win against Franklin to make that uh, make that a 4-1 win for Center Grove. So that was on Monday here at home against Franklin. The Trojans went on the road to take on previously number one ranked Park Tudor, who's now number three in the state, and the Trojans lost in that one, two, three. They lost in the one, two, and three singles. However, number one doubles and number two doubles victorious against Park Tudor. So Coach Burton, I know, was very pleased with the doubles play on Tuesday. Yeah, one doubles, I believe, was a three-set win, so that's a very good win for them, and hopefully propelled them into a little bit of momentum here uh, coming into this match. But, but yeah, it's uh, – I mean, the schedule is very difficult throughout. I think Center Grove's now played uh, six teams that are ranked uh, uh, three and three on the year against those ranked teams. So it uh, doesn't get any easier. And tonight's will be another difficult match against an undefeated Oldenburg Academy team. Some of the matches are now starting to get underway. It looks like court one's underway. Court two just now underway. And again, our camera focused today on court three, the number one doubles match and they're getting ready to get started here in just a moment. Again, today at Center Grove, ranked number eight this week, best ranking in the for the Trojans this season, uh, up against Oldenburg Academy. Again, Oldenburg Academy undefeated Rick, but uh, they're not ranked in the polls. And I think you mentioned early on that they have not played a ranked team, uh, maybe just one. one. Yeah, they played Seymour, Seymour. the 28th, which, you know, rankings sometimes don't make sense they beat Seymour 3-2 but somehow Seymour's ranked but they're not so uh, so yeah they're really looking to uh, make a statement today and try to try to get a win on the road against a top 10 team and, and hopefully that'll propel them in their minds into a you know a top 20 or top 25 ranking getting Sonia. ready to get going yeah here, Sonia Vias on court two is underway against Mimi Wilder a couple of lefties on court two but now we're underway here on court three in our Number one doubles match. A couple of seniors for the Trojans. Satna Vias. Serving for the Trojans. Yeah, and you'll notice right away the big the big thing on that uh, that far side of the court is getting to that net as soon as possible because it's going to be very difficult to to get any kind of uh, uh, any kind of uh, you know hard hit on the ball. Uh, this side to be able to get it over their heads. Centro did win that first point, so up 15. Love. And a really good job there by Blauman. Uh, exactly what you're supposed to do, just hit it at their feet or, or hit it right at them, the other person at the net, and, and see if they can react. And right there, Plowman did a good job when gets the point for Centro. Sapna Vias, senior serving for the Trojans. Second serve. Really good second serve there. Very nice. I got it, I got it. That ball's going to sail, yeah. Just, I mean, just a little simple hit there, but a good job by Vias there um, of, of lobbing over the girl at the net, which then causes a little bit of um, a little bit of a disruption. And then when, uh, when Storms tried to get it back, she hit it long. There's another one that's going to sail on. Yep, so really good first game by Center Grove. Uh, Sapna holds, and Center Grove takes the 1-0 lead. I'm sorry, that's a two-doubles ball. The other thing you're going to see a lot, Kevin, is those balls flying all over the courts and, and being a couple courts over, so. So we'll 
we'll do, we're going now to do a look in here on court number two. This is a singles match between Center Grove's Sonia Vias, who's a senior, against Mimi Wilder, who's a sophomore for Oldenburg Academy. Wilder serving. Yeah, and you really got to step in on the second serve because it's not going to go very deep. And you see Vias uh, scooting up a little bit against that. She got caught off guard on the last ball. Um, and didn't get over there very very far. And then, uh, I mean, the other thing you're going to see a lot, Kevin, is that ball toss. It's so difficult whenever the wind's blowing like this to make sure that that you get up the right ball toss. And you can't be you can't be afraid of if it is blowing around and not the right space to just let it bounce or, or just grab it and, and try the toss again but that's going to be uh, that's going to be difficult now we'll go back to court three number one doubles match center grove won the first game rick i find it Ironic that the Trojans are playing the <laughs> Twisters today on a day when the wind's 20 to 30 miles per hour. <laughs> and I remember when we played, uh, Center Grove played them, like you said, I think two years ago in semi-state, uh, you had the full um, reason for the Twisters uh, mascot. And, and uh, obviously there's some history with some... Uh, some uh, tornadoes down in the area where Oldsburg Academy is. So uh, we'll see if you remember that from a couple years ago or if, or if your research has failed you. <laughs> Oldenburg near Batesville, Indiana. Great job by Sydney there at the net, Sydney Plowman. I mean, that's, I mean, you you get to the net there, and, and it's very difficult to get enough, moment, uh, you know, enough power on that return to get it back. Um, and Plowman did the exact right thing and just hit the winner um, off the volley. Especially if you get it deep, really nice shot there. Boom, you got the foot away. That's all set up by the return by Plowman there, a really deep return, and then. Uh, Storms, or sorry, not Storms, uh, Beck wasn't able to get much on the return. So they're up now 2-0. Really good, strong start um, by that senior duo. Ashley Fisk has also gotten off to a really good. Whoa, there we go, Kevin. <laughs> wow. I was getting ready to give an update on one singles, and that return hit right on that ball, hit right on the, on the pole right by our mic, and that was uh, in surround sound, I guess we could say. I guess we're both, even though we both turned uh, 50 here recently, our hearing has not went away that much yet. Uh, boy, what I was trying to say was a uh, good strong start at one singles there by Ashley Fish. She's up 3-0, um, you know, just 10 minutes into this match. And looking on court four, changeover. Looks like Center Grove, number two doubles, up one love. In the opening go, set there. Right yeah, and you can see it right now. We're watching, you know, our match. We're watching on court three here, one doubles. You know, Plowman's trying to get in that a good rhythm there with the serve um, on this side. She's she's been long with with the last three that she's that she served. And court five, Rick. It looks like Center Grove is up two one. On court five, that's the number three singles match. Alyssa Wanstrath for Oldenburg Academy going up against Deep D. Shankar, freshman for CJ. Pretty impressed so far, Rick. Overall, the players seem to be doing fairly well with the win so far. I think it's going to take a little bit of time for, for each of those teams to adjust. 
but yeah, you're seeing some different shots by both teams. Of, you know, Vias, uh, Sonia over here on board two is really has had a couple drop shots. That's a really nice shot by Plowman. Just hit it deep. You got to hit it deep to the, you know, to the girl that's back at the baseline, and then you, you both get to the net as soon as you can. And it's going to be you know, the team that does that. As most of the time in doubles, the team that gets the net usually wins about 70 to 75 percent of the points. Um, it's a stat that I was told one time. Um, it's, I think it's going to be even more on a day like today. Yeah, good, good uh, attempt right there by a winner by Storms um, down the alley there that uh, was a little bit open, but it just hit the top of the net. So a good comeback serving wise by Plowman, I believe it's now Deuce. Right play, the right play there by Pollen coming to the net, but just uh, wasn't quite able to, to get it over there. Second serve for Sydney Plowman, senior. Sail just long. So back to Deuce here at one doubles. That one was off a racket there. It was going to sail long. Wait, did you say don't? No, no. Beautiful. Come on, just a little bit more faking up there. Make them see you. Make them see you up there. That's it. Here we go. Here, Coach Wilder, some encouraging words for his number one doubles team. Rick, this uh, Oldenburg Academy team. Very young team. No seniors on this varsity squad. Yeah, they're obviously going to be good for uh, for the next couple of years. Two juniors, uh, four sophomores, and one freshman in that starting lineup. And now uh, Oldenburg did, did get the break back, so 2-1 uh, center grove as they do the changeover. Now we'll do another look in here on court number two. This is the number two singles match. Sophomore Mimi Wilder for Oldenburg Academy against Sonia Vias, senior for Center Grove. Here we go! Really nice winner there by Wilder. She got a little short ball. And, I mean, it's just it's such a different. I mean, Vias kind of played defensive that whole time because Wilder was able to use that that wind at her back to really hit the ball hard. Uh, it's 1 1 in that match on court two between Sonia Vias and, and Wilder. Back to court three. Yeah, Fisk, quick update on one singles. Fisk now up 5 0 there in the first set. So she's rolling over Teresa Wanstraw. Evelyn Storm, sophomore, now serving for Oldenburg Academy here on court three. Again, this is the number one double oh, match. And Center Grove jumped out to a 2 0 lead, and now Oldenburg won the last game. So it's 2 1 Trojans. Right here.
little racket repair by plowing. I think the uh, the dampener that uh, that you see in the middle of the rackets actually came off on that on that hit. 15 Old Bird Academy servant. Goes to 30-30. Your shot was out. I got it. 30 all here now. Something that being very aggressive at the net. 40-30, Older Bird. Second serve for Storms. Just a really good job by Plowman of continuing. I mean, Oldberg was playing that correctly, and she kept trying to get more and more of an angle there. Um, but Plowman did a good job of just getting those back and then uh, uh, got the unforced error by uh, by Oldenburg. So now Center Grove has a break point to try to even this matchup. I think the third deuce now. Center Grove hosting Oldenburg Academy yeah. today. Very, very windy day today. 20 to 30 mile an hour winds. Sun is out. We had a match time temperature of 60 degrees. Second serve for Evelyn Storms at Deuce. That one's long by Plowman, so advantage Oldenburg Academy here in this one doubles match. Out. Second serve. Back to Deuce, I believe. A really long game, very competitive game uh, by both sides so far. And I believe this is the fourth Deuce that we're that we're getting now. Court one, Ashley Fisk for Center Grove leads five love. Nice battle on court two in the number two singles match. Yeah, this is another that that game going on right now is another one that's been in the several Deuces. Yeah, that's, I mean, you get excited there at the net going, hey, I got me a ball that I can absolutely hammer. And, and, uh, and you, 
you don't quite follow through enough and that sailed long. Good job by Plowman of just getting out of the way. So now uh, another break point for Center Grove. And a good, two good returns by Sutna there and, and they do get the break so they even that match uh, up at 2-2. Big in a couple spots, like you said, Fisk up five, five love in the first set, and then two doubles. Um, Center Grove up three zero uh, with Bill Storff and, and Dick. So now two two on, uh, on court three at one doubles, and then at two singles, uh, Old Bird Academy's up two one. of the Vios now serving for the Trojans. One of the first couple points here, so she's up 30 love as, as, uh, as they look to try to get their first lead of, of that match. Good first serve. Yeah, that was a good, really good first serve by Vios. And the other thing is, uh, Probably saw it on the broadcast. We didn't mention it, but her first uh, first point of this, the ball barely got over the net and just died, and uh, <laughs> just goes as an ace, just because the wind just completely knocked that down. And the Oldenburg girl, you can't be deep on these serves, um, just because of the way the ball is just dying. Go. Into that wind. It's a 40 love now. So uh, still 40-15. Kevin, it's good that we got uh, we got a little bit of weight um, on us, or you know, I wouldn't want to be a, a real skinny, skinny person out on a night like tonight because we might be blowing blowing backwards. But I think we're pretty safe. We're anchored in here pretty well, unless we get one of those tornadoes. It's got to be well over 30 mile an hour winds now. It's really picked up. And they get another air at the net there. So Center Grove takes their first lead of the match, 3-2 there at one double. As they go to the changeover. <laughs> Coverage of the number eight ranked Center Grove Trojans hosting Oldenburg Academy today on a awesome. windy, blustery day here at the CG Tennis Center. Today's match is being presented by Jostens. Jostens will help you announce your graduation with class, celebrate tradition, and recognize your achievement with quality graduation announcements. Only Jostens graduation announcements include your official school colors and symbols. Please contact 1981 Center Grove High School alumnus Brad Long at Jostens for more information at 317-535-8853 or by email at brad.long at jostens.com. Jostens has been the official graduation cap and gown provider for Center Grove High School since 1968. You're watching Court 3, number one doubles match between CG and Oldenburg Academy and Bias and Plowman off to a 4-1 lead here in this opening set against Back and Storms. Yeah, been a pretty, uh, you know, despite the score being 4-1, been a really evenly matched uh, um, match so far, but uh, Center Grove's come up with the big. 
to Center Grove now with Plowman serving. And the exact right thing to do. You know, people think that's not, and I know tennis is kind of known, tennis and golf are known as polite sports, but that's the exact right play you're supposed to do is get it right at that person at the net, and that's that's the right play that Plowman did that. And then, um, like the good sportsman that she is, she, uh, she said, Sorry, are you okay? And we'll move on to the next point. I think that bounced twice, didn't it? Oh, that's a good point. That one sailed. Uh, I think that one sailed long. Some nice touch shots by. Evelyn Storms, sophomore for Oldenburg Academy. Plowman scoring or er, serving for CG. Yeah, that one. Wynn took that one uh, wide. Storms could do right there, Kevin. That ball just just took off on her and, and ended up jamming her in that backhand. So, um, and, I mean, credit Plowman, really nice shot, deep shot there, and then it had a little bit of spin on it and got helped by the wind. No. Court five, it looks like Center Grove is leading 4-1, if my eyes are, is that 4-1, yep. it looks like? Yep. Court five, that's uh, three singles. Nice, Evelyn. That's uh, Deep D. Shankar leading for Center Grove on court five in that three singles match. And two doubles is up 4-1 as well, uh, Gilstorf and, and Dick. And again, Fisk won the opening set on court one in the singles one match. She's now in the uh, second set. Yeah, up 1-0 on the second set, Kevin. That return sails long by by Beck. I believe Center Grove's now up 40-30 in this game with Plowman serving. Rick, I think we placed our cameras on the most two competitive yeah. courts today, courts two and three. Really short with that one. Yeah, really good get by Plowman there. That ball just died on her on her side of the court, and and she did uh, she did a really good job. Now they go up uh, five two here in the first set. So we'll jump over now to court two. Number two singles match. Mimi Wilder, sophomore for Oldenburg Academy, serving. She leads by a score of 2-1 to one over Sonia Vias, who's a senior for the Trojans. Yeah, 
believe it might be 3-1. 3-1 now? Yeah, I believe it's 3-1. Wilder, uh, Wilder leads. It was 2-1 on the changeover. Rick, I think we'll stay right here on court two for just a bit. Again, this seems to be a very competitive match between two southpaws. Both of them lefties. You don't see that too often. No, you don't, Kevin. Uh, and then they face each other. Well, that's with that other ball rolling in there from, uh, from court one. Wilder, sophomore, Use serving. That. Use that. Serve as long. I believe, yep. see I mean BS right now is just you know kind of on that side of the court not hitting with a lot of pace but just trying to keep the ball deep which is exactly what you need to do so she wins that game uh, oh she actually takes the lead now 3-2 uh, at two singles coming so that's Sonia Bias again with the lead on court number two and Two singles match, and now we're back to court three. Number one doubles. Subna Vias, along with Sydney Plowman, leading back in storms 5 2. Ow. Opening set. Evelyn Storm, sophomore, serving for Oldenburg Academy. Two doubles team of uh, Gilstorf and Dick did win that first set 6-1, Kevin. So now two teams uh, for Center Grove's got the first set on the, on the board. And Center Grove just won the first set at one doubles there, 6-2. So. See if they can maintain, uh, keep that momentum here in the uh, in the start of the second set. So they'll serve once and then uh, change over. Good return there by by Beck and uh, just ticked off of, of Plowman's racket there. Fisk rolling in the second set as well. She's up 3-0. Looking to be the first one off the court. Court four, Rick. It looks like they're now starting the second set. So I think CG took that yeah, opening they, set. 6-1, they won that first set, Kevin. Again, that's Hudson Gilstorf and Lauren Dick winning the first set in court four. That's the number two doubles team. We featured them on Monday in the Johnson County Final. Yeah, they've been very good this year, 10-1 and one on the year like we talked about, and uh, um, really good combination. They, they know each other by growing up across the street from each other and, and really play well together. Yeah, and the, 
those win points there, Kevin, on both sides that uh, the guys tried to get the ball over the head of uh, Girl to Ned and couldn't quite get it with enough enough power on it. She was able to put it away. Very good decision there by Blount and smart decision knowing that I mean that ball's at her head with the wind at her back. There's no way that that ball's going to stay in on a day like today. one where uh, she uh, tried three times and uh, credit Beck. Beck was able to finally put one away. So they win game one of the second set to go up 1-0 after Senator won that first set 6-2. This is live coverage of the number eight ranked Center Grove girls tennis team today hosting Oldenburg Academy, the Twisters. On a very windy day here at the CG Tennis Center. Center Grove cruising right along with Ashley Fiss in the number one singles match on court one. Quite a battle, though, in court two in the number two singles match. And the match we're featuring today on court three. Also a good battle. Center Grove won the first set in this number one doubles match, 6-2. However, the Twisters take the opening game here in set number two. Court four, the number two doubles of Center Grove. Won the opening set 6-1 and leads one love in the second set. And looking all the way over on to court number five, it looks like CG in the three singles match took the first set, at least leading in the first set 4-1. to one. And it's Deep D. Shankar for Senegro with the lead on court five. Rick, it's all about the weather today, at least it is for me. This wind is something, but right as I say that, all of a sudden the wind did pause for a little bit, but here it comes back again. But uh, I think that's wishful thinking, Kevin. <laughs> might be, but I would say over, overall, I've been pretty impressed looking around and how the, the players today are handling the weather conditions. I, I, we're seeing some pretty darn good tennis today. Yeah, but you can also see um, in this two singles match, uh, V.S. And, uh, and Wilder, I believe all five games have been won on that far end. So, uh, it's, it's clearly different on both sides, and, and just uh, you're right, some are able to adjust more than others. Sonia Vias wins that point. <laughs> as, you, as you heard, uh, that sounded a little like Luke Embry with some excitement out there. <laughs> Thankfully, not near as uh, colorful words sometimes. <laughs> Again, we're featuring them at the moment. Court three, the number two doubles match. A couple of seniors for the uh, Center Grove Trojans. One doubles, yep. Or number one yep. doubles, excuse me. We had number two doubles the other day, uh, Monday. But number two doubles today. Sutna Vias along with Sydney Plowman. Again, both seniors against Emma Back, who's a junior for Oldenburg Academy, and Evelyn Storms, who's a sophomore. And in the back right now, serving for the Twisters. Yeah, they're up 1-0 in this second set. Real good deep ball there, and now Plowman gets the overhead. So all set up by Sutton's nice deep return there, and then uh, uh, the, the, re the backhand lob didn't get quite high enough, and Plowman put that away. You know, Kevin, I didn't want to go through this match, and we got both of them. Um, today, but the three seniors that we're featuring today, uh, you know, it'd be remiss without mentioning uh, the strength of their academics, Kevin. And, and uh, you know, last night was a top 20 banquet for the top 20 uh, GPA seniors, and, and we've got three of them here today. And, and uh, Sapna Vias here at, at uh, one doubles, returning the ball right here. Uh, she's second in her class with a 4.80. GPA. Her sister, uh, Sonia, who we're having at uh, two singles uh, today, is third in her class with a 4.79. And then Sydney Plowman, uh, Sutna's 
partner there at one double. She's ninth in her class um, with, I believe, a 4.69. So, I mean, those those GPAs might be a little bit higher than, than any of the ones uh, of the uh, the folks that broadcast here, Kevin. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to speak for Ted in football, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he, was, he, he wasn't known for being the, the scholastic. I don't know if he was academic All-American at IU or not. Maybe he was. But uh, just a complete credit to those girls. Uh, very, very impressive. And, and uh, uh, I heard all three of their speeches yesterday, and they were very appreciative of their parents, very appreciative of the teachers, and, and uh, just some very, very impressive young ladies here. And, and I wanted to make sure we mentioned that um, to them. Uh, and it, just an incredible accomplishment for all three of them. Also, Rick, you had a couple of boys tennis players a part of that top 20 and a couple of wrestlers and a golfer as well yeah so i think 11 out of the 20 uh kevin i counted were were uh, sports uh, folks that played varsity sports this year so yeah three girls tennis three boys tennis uh two wrestlers a, a golfer um and a couple track track and field one boys and one girl so uh really really a credit to those to those kids because uh obviously with with the added um Playing a varsity sport at Center Grove is not easy, and, and playing a varsity sport at the high level that, you know, we've talked about the spring teams, but, I mean, the success that, that all of the teams have, it's it's uh, quite an accomplishment. And, 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 and all three of these girls as well today have full-ride scholarships, academic scholarships um, at the next level. Uh, Sutton is going to uh, be at the University of Texas at Dallas next year. Uh, she's looking to be a doctor. Uh, Sydney. Plowman is going to the Miami of Florida. So next year at this time, she's not worrying about it being 60 degrees, Kevin. She's probably more worried about being 85 or 90 next year. So maybe we could figure out if she, you know, plays some club tennis or something down there. Maybe we could do a remote, a remote uh, broadcast next year uh, for Sydney. But Sydney's going to study neural. Uh, Neurology down there, which are neuroscience down there, so uh, uh, very impressive. And then uh, Sonia Vias, the girl playing two singles here, is going to IU Kelly School of Business and has a full ride down there. So uh, very impressive of those three girls, uh, just their academics and, and obviously their athletics as well. Center Grove puts its first point on the board. Ashley Fisk, senior, has one on court one against Teresa Wonstrath, the sophomore of Oldenburg Academy. Rick, did you see the scores on I think it was 6-1-6-0. So Fisk victorious. Yeah, she's... Uh, been very good this year and continues to lead this team, so that moves her record to 10 and 2 uh, on the year. Uh, Ashley Fisk uh, at one singles there, so uh, very impressive performance by Ashley over Teresa Wanstraw. Plowman serving for the Trojans. Good deep return by Plowman there, and, and once again you get back by that fence, especially if you're backhand. So, yeah, they'll change over now. We'll get the score update um, of what it is. Center Grove won both of those games, so they take the 2 1 lead there at, hey girls, come on back. at one doubles, and then we'll also get the update. Let's Looks go, like two dude. singles Let's is go, changing dude. over as Let's well, Kevin, so we'll see how Sonia Vias is doing against uh, Mimi Wilder at two singles. Yes, is up 4-3. Uh, Live coverage of the Center Grove girls tennis team, ranked number eight in the state of Indiana. Today's coverage being presented by Jostens. Jostens will help you announce your graduation with class. Jostens custom crafted premium graduation announcements provide the formal recognition this moment deserves. Designs are chosen by your school and are unique to your graduating class. Please contact 1981 Center Grove High School alumnus Brad Long at Johnson's. For more information at 317-535-8853 or, or by email 
at brad.long at johnsons.com. Johnston's has been the official graduation cap and gown provider for Center Grove High School since 1968. Center Grove has the early one to nothing lead here over Oldenburg Academy. Ashley Fisk on court number one, already victorious today. Court two, very competitive. Court three, competitive as well. The match you're watching here, the number one doubles match. Court four, CG with a commanding lead in the number two doubles match. And court yeah, it five, looks, it looks three like, singles in the second set now. Yeah, Shankar won that first set. I don't know exactly what the score was. It was 4-1 last time we looked, but uh, so Shankar won that first set, and she's up 1-0 in the second set at, at two doubles there on court four. Uh, they won 6-1 in the first set, uh, Gilstorf and Dick, and they're actually up 3-0 in the second set, so they're rolling as well, trying to get that second point on the board for center row. Vias and Plowman here on court three. Won the first set 6-2, and they lead now 2-1 over back in Storms here in set number two. Next week, the Trojans back on the road on Tuesday. They'll be at Bloomington North for a 5 o'clock match. And then next Thursday and Saturday will be the MIC tournament hosted by Ben Davis High School. So we'll see how the Trojans can do in that MIC tournament. Obviously, Carmel is the heavy favorite. But one thing you might think that Center Grove could maybe get in that second spot. At yeah, the that's, tournament. Uh, you know, the other one that's that's been ranked this year a little bit further down the rankings and, and Center got rained out against them is Lawrence North. Uh, they're ranked 27th on the year, so yeah, um, it'll it'll come down to those three teams, I'm sure. North Central was ranked earlier in the season, but they've now dropped out of the yep. rankings. Two really good shots there by by uh, Sepna uh, to win those first two on, or the last you. couple yeah, points there for there. Center Grove. Vias returning the serve here. Second serve from Evelyn Storms. I got it, I got it. Ow. Ball just didn't quite get over that net there, Kevin. So tonight, the Center Grove Boys and Girls track and field teams competing in the MIC meet at Pike High School. I'm sure it'll be very difficult to uh, compete in these windy conditions up on the northwest side of Indy. But uh, for the Center Grove, both boys and girls teams highly ranked, and uh, they got an opportunity and a shot at winning the MIC title. The girls have done it before. The boys have never won the MIC meet. So we'll see how things pan out here tonight for CG. Yeah, it's kind of a championship week they had uh, rescheduled uh, county meet on Monday uh, tracked it and now they got Mick in the same week so normally they don't have something like that but we'll see if they can uh, if they can get it done should have a good opportunity both sides but uh, in the Mick and track and field is pretty loaded especially on the boys side uh, I think four out of the top five teams um, are our MIC teams between Carmel, Center Grove, uh, Warren Central, and Lawrence Central. So it'll be a tough battle, and we'll see if they get uh, they get points in the right place tonight. There you go, Dan. That was nice. One 
doubles a little bit of a uh, break in the action as there was a ball in the far corner of the uh, court four, the two doubles court, um, that they were just waiting on two doubles to get a break in the action. Taking a look at the Center Grove Spring Sports teams as far as their state rankings this week. So impressive. Boys Golf ranked number two in the state. They got a big match uh, coming up tomorrow. And then on Monday, they'll be competing in the Mick uh, match up at uh, Woodwind Golf Club in Westfield. And of course, Center Grove run number two. And you got Armo at number three. So it's going to be a heck of a matchup for CJ on Monday and Boys Golf. Also, uh, I mentioned boys and girls track and field. Both of those teams ranked third in the state. You have baseball ranked fifth in the state in 4A. Softball ranked seventh in 4A. And girls tennis up one spot this week to number eight. So that's so impressive, Rick, to have one, two, three, four, five, six of your spring sports teams either eighth or better in the state rankings. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, Kevin, if you think about it, uh, having all of those teams in the top top eight in the entire state so uh yeah be awesome plowman have taken a 3-1 lead now kevin uh important game here if they were to win this game they take a commanding uh, commanding lead uh 4-1 in that second set so we'll, we'll hopefully get the uh, hopefully get that a nice serve by bias so it's 3-1 yeah 3-1 center grove up Navias serving here for the Trojans and you mentioned earlier on Rick you just saw it there the the, the wind toss. yeah on that toss the wind is so difficult sun can cause a problem on your toss and definitely win yeah and then when you hit the ball over the net it just dies at the other end and if you're deep and you see a girl hitting I mean Vias really swung hard at that ball um, but once it got over the net it just died and, and uh Storms wasn't able to get that, get to that ball. So a commanding, I believe, 40 love lead here for on Sapna VS's serve. That one's going to be out though. Oh, oh. What a shot, Dan! Wow. <laughs> I think the return to Plowman was going to be out because that girl hit it flat. Um, but Plowman did a fantastic job of uh, of. Uh, hitting that right in the right spot and, and Oldenburg wasn't able to get that back. So now Vias and Plowman up 4-1, Kevin, on the changeover. Playing really well today, all things considered. Vias and Plowman here on court three in the number one doubles match. Again, a couple of seniors. So, Rick, we've had a chance so far this season uh, to spotlight the number one singles, uh, Ashley Fisk against Carmel. Of course, in the Johnson County final this past Monday, we had a chance to, to feature the number two Devils team in uh, Hudson Gilstorf along with Lauren Dick. And today we're featuring the number one Devils team, uh, Sapna Vias and Sydney Plowman. And also we're getting a chance to see a little bit of the number two singles match between Mimi Wilder and uh, Sonia Vias. Yeah, and two doubles is now taking a commanding lead as well. They're up five love in that second set, so they're one game away from getting that second point on the board for Center Grove, and we'll try to get that three singles, um, three singles score if we can as well. Let's go. That one will sail along. Good play by Storms at the net. After today's tennis stream, our next live stream will be coming up on Tuesday. Center Grove Softball will host North Central for a conference game. It'll be senior night at 5.30. So join us Tuesday for CG Softball. Steve and I'll be up at a course in Westfield at Woodwind Golf Club Monday to have live updates throughout the day from the Mick Boys uh, Golf Tournament. Again, that should be a heck of a matchup between CG and, and Carmel. Yeah, they got to, uh, the, the state championships at Prairie View, right, Kevin? That's correct. Uh, they're hosting the 
men's men's golf Big Ten golf championship uh, today through Sunday there, or today through Saturday at Prairie View. So, so obviously you got uh, one Center Grove graduate uh, playing for IU, Ethan Shepard, up there playing in that. And then next year you'll have a couple. Real nice play by Plowman. She just picked the exact right point, kind of almost lulled. Oldenburg to sleep there and then did the exact right time to poach and, and boom, perfect put away. Plowman's been very good at the net. But you're right, Ethan Shepard, IU, and then uh, Gillard will yeah, be transferring. Year, have Noah Gillard, Noah IU Gillard as well. transferring from Illinois to IU. I got a feeling that's going to be difficult to play today, yeah. golf in this win. Well, but. Earlier today, it wasn't it wasn't as bad, I don't think, as it was this afternoon. Right. Um, so I think they mostly were done by mid-afternoon. But yeah, you're right, Kevin. Uh, something golfers do not like either is uh, is the win. Storms at the net. Yeah, Vias, Sonia Vias did just win that first set, 6 4, Kevin. Good, hard fought first set at two singles. Senegro with one point on the board already. Ashley Fisk again victorious on court one. Yeah, that one's going to sail long by Plowman. A really good. Uh, ball by Beck, hit back there in the, in the right spot, and Fallon tried to be perfect with that lob, and it just went long. Perfect uh, play at the net by Sufna. She put it away. Again, the opening set going to Viasa Plowman, 6-2, and now leading 4-2 here in the second set. Plowman serving, 15 oh, love. You saw that, saw the wind right there. Take that one completely over her head. Oh. Man, it just affects. Fix everything about your game, but you got to be mentally strong. This is where the most of the time the mentally strong um, player is the one that's able to do uh, to win the game. And, and uh, another nice, nice uh, serve by Plowman and nice return volley by by Supna to put that away. So 30 love now, uh, Plowman serve. Rick, also a big uh, game coming up next week for you and I and the Center Grove baseball team playing at Victory Field next Friday against Brownsburg. First pitch, 530. That's going to be fun, Kevin. Uh, obviously, um, neither one of us have, have done a game at Victory Field, so obviously a beautiful facility and, and uh, you know, helped even more by the fact that the Center Grove baseball team has, has been rolling this year. I mean, they're... They're destroying people. The three games they had this week were 19-0, uh, 19-0, and 14-4. So, uh, you know, been very impressive both uh, hitting the ball and, and pitching. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that one, Kevin. They got a big week ahead of them. They got uh, that'll be, I believe, their fourth game of the week, and then they got another one on Saturday next weekend. So, uh, a big week for them to, to try to maintain or improve on that number five ranking. 
Yeah, next week for CG Baseball Monday against Brebuff at home. They had North Central home on Tuesday for a conference game, Wednesday at North Central for a conference game, and then Friday at Victory Field against Brownsburg, non-conference game, and then you're right, Saturday, next Saturday, hosting the Martinsville Artisans for a non-conference game. So a lot of baseball next week for the Trojans. And we got uh, the second point on the board there at two doubles. They dominated again. Um, Six one six zero, junior Hudson Gilstorf and freshman Lauren Dick. So they moved to eleven and one on the year. Um, so Center Grove now up two zero. Two, yeah, two points on the board for CG. Unfortunately, one doubles team lost both of those games. So this one became a lot tighter here at one doubles. Now up uh, four three in the second set after winning that first set six two. And DP, or I'm sorry. Deep D. Shankar is leading 4-1 now in the second set after winning the first set on uh, court five. Yeah, so that might be the second point uh, or the third point that Center Grove gets right there. But I don't know if Deep D can, can close that one out. Bias had two singles. Uh, Sonia uh, won the first set real, real long, hard-fought first set, 6-4, and is up 1-0 on the second set. And Rick, on this match that we're watching, did it go to 4-3? Four, 4-3, three? Four, three, yep. Good, good couple games there by Oldenburg. They're actually on serve in the second set. Looks like they got Storms back serving. at the net there and you're just not able to quite get that racket all the way through and that one sailed long for Old Bird. So club 15 now serving. Let's go. He also hits that one into the net. So 15 all. Very important game here. Center Grove's able to win this one and they're serving for a match. Um, Oldenburg's trying to even this one up and make this a I'm trying to get this one to go to third set. I got it. I got it. That one's going to sail on, too. Beck was all over that net uh, going back and forth, and, and uh, Plowman did a good job of getting one low enough and difficult to return, and that one sailed. the saying, Kevin, better to be lucky than good. Plowman got that one off the frame, but hey, the frame is part of the racket last time I checked, so that's right. you don't get any style points by hitting one cleanly and it goes into the net, and that one was uh, off the frame at a big, big point, so Center Grove's got two break points here now. So Center Grove goes up 5-3 now, and you're going to have Sutna, Sutna Via serving for the match at one doubles. Over at uh, three singles, it's 5-2 now. Uh, Shankar for Center Grove. She's also looking to close that one out. Center Grove up 2-0, just trying to get that third point. will be serving. And, and 
that was all the us on that one, uh, you know, back and forth um, across court. And the us did a really good job throughout that and gets the first point. Tell Plowman was just itching to get a ball that she could hit there at, at the net, and uh, that one was still just a little bit out of her reach, and, and she tried to extend and, and just hit the top of her racket. So good point by Oldenburg, 30-15 uh, now center Grove. And a nice return by by Via. So now two match points for center Grove at one doubles. Sells that one just wide, so Oldenburg fights off one match point. Center Grove has one more. 40 30 this game. Just uh, sailed on her a little bit, so Oldenburg saves off two match points. Gets this one back to uh, to Deuce. Center Grove. Plowman gets the uh, the volley winner, so Center Grove wins that one. 6-2-6-3, Kevin. So congratulations to the Center Grove Trojans, victorious tonight over Oldenburg Academy. Court three, the number one doubles team of Sutton and Vias, along with Sydney Plowman, victorious over Emma Back and Evelyn Storms. Again, your final 6-2, 6-3. A couple of the matches still going on. A really good match here on court number two, the number two singles match. We'll transition over to that court. And watch a little bit of this match. Number two singles, Mimi Wilder, sophomore for Oldenburg Academy against Sonia Vias. So when you won that first set, was it 6-4, Rick? 6-4, yep. And now they're in the second set. Still waiting on the third on, three on. singles to, to go final as well. Shankara 5-2 in the second set after winning that first set.
Again, the Trojans, three points on the board. So victorious today. First loss of the year for Oldenburg Academy. They'll fall to nine and one on the season. Center Grove improving now to nine and three. Again, we're on court two, the number two singles match between Mimi Wilder, who's serving to senior Sonia Vias of Center Grove. She's a hustler. She really chases down a lot of balls. I think I finally figured it out, Kevin. The uh, the little logo that they have, the little twister logo. You know what that looks like? The logo of what company? Tesla. It uh, looks like the okay. Tesla logo. Okay. I was trying to figure out. It's on the top of their of their outfits there, and uh, I was like, "What does that look like?" But I, I think it looks like the Tesla logo a little bit. They have the OA on the front, and then in the back they have the uh, the T for twisters. So Vias wins that. Sonia Vias wins that game. We'll, we'll get an update on that one. Like you said, Kevin, Centro has clinched the match. Looking to now just uh, to see if they'll win 4-1, uh, 5-0, or 3-2. So 2-1, Center Grove leads it here on court number two. That's Sonia Vias leading Wilder 2-1 after winning the opening set 6-4. Today's coverage of Center Grove girls tennis being presented by Jostens. Jostens will help you announce your graduation with class, celebrate tradition, and recognize your achievement. With quality graduation announcements, only Johnston's graduation announcements include your official school colors and symbols. Please contact 1981 Center Grove High School alumnus Brad Long at Johnston's. More information at 317-535-8853 or email brad at brad.long at johnston's.com. Johnston's has been the official graduation cap and gown provider for Center Grove High School since 1968. Actually, I've met Brad couple of days ago to pick up my son's cap and gown and tassel getting ready for graduation here real soon at Center Grove High School coming up here uh, like you said Kevin 
in the next uh, next month or so. We both got both got kids graduating this year, so uh, it's that time of year and. Uh, yeah, we, we thank Brad and, and Jostens for the sponsorship of tennis, and I know they're doing some golf for you as well. But uh, you know, did did you take any Hoosiers memorabilia for him to sign or anything? <laughs> you want to make you know make sure people know Brad Long is uh, was in the Hoosiers movie, and he was Buddy. That's right, he was Buddy. Yeah, so uh, we got a legend in our backyard, and and. Uh, if there's one movie that, that I've taught my kids to make sure we watch and, and enjoy, it's it's that movie. So, uh, yeah, we just thank Brad and we thank Jocelyn for their sponsorship. Jocelyn's also our presenting sponsor coming up on Monday for the Mick Golf Tournament. So, again, thank you, Brad Long, for everything that you do for CG Sports Network. Nice winner there by Wilder. Serve here for Vias. And that one's long, so a double fault. but um, definitely sprinkling sprinkling some unforced errors in there with some with our winners looks like Shankar did finish things off over there at three singles Kevin it was six three in the, in that second set first set I don't know I think it was six two. So four points for the Trojans. Final match being played right here on court two. Wilder and Vias. I believe it's 30-15. Thirty-five. Again, Sonia Vias won the first set over Wilder, 6-4, and Vias leads 2-1 here in the second set. break points here or no it's back to even 30 all
Our next Center Girl Girls Tennis web stream will be coming up on May 11th. CG will host Bloomington South. It'll be senior night. Center Girl, quite a few seniors this year. I think five, is that right? Or ten. They have ten, ten? seniors, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. They got four in the four in the starting lineup, but then, yeah, ten total. So pretty similar to the boys. I think the boys had 11 this year. Um, just a really large group and a really good story uh, this morning in a daily journal about the, the camaraderie of those seniors and how they've stuck together. And, and uh, you know, a big theme on that is, is – the girls team doesn't doesn't rebuild they just reload and, um, you know with the exception of two girls that were on that starting lineup from two years ago um, Fisk and, and uh, uh, Plowman I believe was on the two doubles team all those other girls are are completely new to varsity tennis but they haven't missed a beat in that top 10 ranking and and have been very strong and it's it's a big indication of the senior leadership that they've got Vihas again won the opening set 6-4 and now leads 3-2 here in the second set. Center Grove with four points on the board. Another solid day for Coach Debbie Burton and the uh, Center Grove Trojans. Earlier in the week, again, beating Franklin in the county finals 4-1. Franklin now into the uh, state rankings after beating Whiteland a couple of times. And I think they're, what, 22nd? Yep, 22nd. They, they've, um, I was impressed with them on, on Monday. They really battled in a few of those spots, two singles. Uh, one doubles, obviously, they won. Um, but they battled at two doubles as well. So, uh um, that'll definitely be one that will probably be who Center Grove faces in the sectional at, uh, in, in a few weeks here or in a month or so whenever they start up sectional play. So, yeah, they've had a very nice start to the season. CG lost to Park Tudor Tuesday on the road, 2-3. Won number one and number two doubles against Park Tudor. However, Park Tudor very dominant with their singles play. Center Grove only got one game in the singles competition. Trojans against Lawrence North. Rained out. Don't believe they're going to make that one up. And now um, we'll probably see Lawrence yep. North somewhat in, yep. the Mc, in the Mick tournament. Yep, some of them will see them, see them there. Mm -hmm. Coming down the home stretch here in the regular season for CG. After today's match here against Oldenburg Academy, Again, next Tuesday at Bloomington North. The Mick Tournament next Thursday and Saturday at Ben Davis. May 10th, taking on Cathedral on the road. Back home, May 11th, Bloomington South for senior night. And then we'll finish up the regular season. May a match against Delta. I do believe they played that usually on the east side over at Mount Vernon High School. Yep, I think that's right. And you got... Uh, among those down the stretch, Cathedral and Delta both ranked yep. in the top 20. And then the Trojans will host the sectional and regional and semi-state. 
it's awesome to be able to use these these great facilities, tennis facilities for those, and do the same thing for the boys. And and uh, Scott no. Scott Knapp does a fantastic job of hosting those, and and uh, it's great when you got three decks, basically twelve courts to to uh, just be able to host. You know, during the regional, you can host both. The regional semifinals, same thing with the semi state matches, in which there's two of them. Out. Here we go. Baby. No, Wilder just evens that one back up, Kevin. So 3 3 now. So today, Center Grove High School announcing the new hire for girls of volleyball. Congratulations to Jennifer Gandalf Hawk, CG alum, was a part of the Center Grove volleyball team that won the state title back in 2000. Also was on the 1998 Center Grove softball team that won a state championship. She has, I do believe, 12 years experience of coaching volleyball in the last four as head coach at Perry Meridian High School. So congratulations. Coach Hawk, and welcome back to CG. Yeah, she's been uh, coaching not only the high school level, but the college level as well, and, and obviously club uh, volleyball as well. So uh, really looking forward to her taking over the Center Grove program. Um, that, that's been one of the top ones in the state for the last several years and, and got some really talented girls coming back, led by uh, Ball State commit uh, Katie Eganoff. So uh, really excited for uh, Coach Hawk to take over. Uh, that program and, and uh, see what she can see if she can add a coaching state title to her uh, her couple ones that she won as a as a uh, athlete for Center Grove. Gandalf, a very popular name in the Center Grove community among the coaching ranks. Of course, her father Dave Gandalf, a longtime baseball coach. Just won is what 800 or 900. I think games. he just went over 800 wins. Yeah. He's amazing. now at Cecina, his alma mater. Thirty all now in this game. Three all. Thirty all. Second set. stops on it so Wilder wins this and she takes the lead in the second set. Very good first serve by Wilder. goes up 4-3 here in the second set. Gaining a lot of momentum here in the second set. Good footwork, good spin here. Last right. last one here. on the court. Bigger, bigger targets, me. Mimi's father, Mark Wilder, the head coach, we're here for uh, Oldenburg Academy with some encouraging words. Coach Burton and Coach Beasley also talking to uh, Sonia during the change over here. Rick, let's recap again. Center Grove on court drops one. in front of you, right? The, Inside uh, that baseline. Number Nothing one drops in front of you. singles, Ashley Fisk, senior, victorious tonight, 6 one six love and Ashley's having a great senior year. Yeah, she has. She moves to 10 and 2 on the year, but uh, another dominating performance. She was the first one off the court in uh, a little over 45 minutes. So uh, another impressive performance by the uh, Indiana Wesleyan commit, Ashley Fisk. 
Deep D Shankar on court five, number three singles match. Victorious. Rick, did you have the final scores? I believe it was 6 2, 6 3. I know the second set was 6 3. I think the first set was either 6 2 or 6 3. So, yeah, Deep D, uh, uh, another impressive performance at that three single spot as a freshman. She moves to 9 and 3 on the year, but uh, uh, she wins pretty convincingly as well. Subna Vias and Sydney Plowman victorious 6 4, 6 2 on court three in the number one doubles match and the number two doubles match, Hudson Gilsdorf and Lauren Dick. Victorious and again on court four in the number two doubles match, six one six love. Yeah, two doubles was dominant again. Uh, uh, they moved eleven and one on the season, six one six zero. But that one doubles team, uh, a really good job, very solid job over a, a good uh, team for Oldenburg. But Sapna Vias and Sydney Plowman played really well and they won six three or six two six three as well. So four points on the board for Center Grove. Sonia Vias here at two singles, won the first set six four. Um, but now she's down 4-3 in the second set as, as uh, Mimi Wilder looks to, to try to force this to a, to a deciding third set. Second serve, double fault. Move in one more step. Keep it on the first one. Move in one more step. Justin scoreboard. Vias won the first set 6 4, and now Wilder leads 5 3 here in the second set, serving. Let here on first serve. That wind is not let down, Kevin. <laughs> You would think maybe at some point it would finally just uh, Probably as soon as calm we pack down. up our equipment, it'll, yeah. it'll settle down. 
I thought maybe at some point that wind might die down, but uh, it has not. No. Nope. Say Tuesday, we were what 80 some degrees. Beautiful day, yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, and we had nothing because the baseball rescheduled their doubleheader away. They rescheduled their Wednesday game to be a doubleheader. Center Grove softball got their game in Wednesday. Yeah, we did have quite a bit of rain on Wednesday, but New Palace now with turf field changes the game a lot when you got turf field. A little bit of rain, you could still play. Yeah, I'm hoping in the next couple of years, Center Grove might look at turfing both the softball fields and the baseball, at least part of the baseball fields. Really helps with rain out. And then Thursday, yesterday, Softball got rained out again. They were rained out at Decatur Central. Yeah, that turned into actually in the afternoon and evening was a really nice, nice evening. But a lot of rain earlier in the day that uh, must not have been able to get their fields prepared. Steve McClure just happened to be at Decatur Central Thursday afternoon and said the fields looked great. <laughs> but uh, probably Thursday morning they yeah. were not in very good shape when they made the decision to uh, to right, cancel that down. game. Bigger targets there, me. Now, Vias has a couple break points here to, to even this match back up, or actually make it to uh, 4 5. Second serve for Wilder. Yeah, that, that went, one sailed long. Yeah, it went deep. Second set, so five four now Wilder. There's our Jocelyn scoreboard again. Vias won that opening on, set back. six four and Wilder now leads five four in the second set. See a lot of blankets out here tonight. <laughs> Some some idiot broadcaster decided to wear shorts. <laughs> I haven't quite figured out what the heck's wrong with that guy. But, yeah, it looked a lot warmer when I uh, looked outside than, than uh, once I got here. I have a sweatshirt, but uh, legs aren't feeling very good. Starting to get a little numb, Kevin. I don't know if I'm going to make it if we go third set. <laughs> hey, struggling on her second 
second serve, so get. What? She's struggling on her second serve, so get in there and make her see. You just don't know what kind of weather you're going to get in the springtime here in the state of Indiana. Yeah, you know, last week we had snow, so a couple inches of snow, so, and that's. You and know, then late, this, late this, April. Then past Tuesday, we had a record high of what, 83, 84? Yeah. yeah. Indiana. That one goes wide, so VS is looking to try to stay in this set and try to even it back up at five. Still have a little bit of sunlight left. We do have lights here if needed. Vias. So she's one of what, 10 seniors you said playing this year for the Trojans. Yep. A lot of seniors. Matchup. Second serve. Let's go, go Wilder wins that for that second set, six four. So we'll see. Yeah, Will they play sure. a full yeah. third set yeah. or not? Is that likely? That. They're just gonna do a ten point tiebreaker. Come on back. Tiebreaker here. Just heard Coach Wilder say they're gonna do a tiebreaker here in the third set. Rick, explain how that works. So just as a super tiebreaker, so it's a 10-point tiebreak, so first person to 10, so it's each shot is a, is a point. So first person to 10, you win by two. So it goes pretty quick, but obviously Oldenburg, uh, you know, hour, hour and a half uh, drive back home, that makes it much easier. Now in the, in the tournament, um, depending on uh, if the match is decided or not, then you play the full third set. Um, all the time, or if you're at one singles or one doubles, and that depends on if you advance in the in the individual uh, individual tournament. But on a situation like this, Center Grove's already up 4-0, and uh, it just makes sense to play this 10-point tie break, and and uh, they'll take a quick little break, not very long, um, a quick drink, and then they'll they'll get going. So. Good comeback in that second set by Wilder. Uh, I mean, this match has just been evenly matched from the start. Uh, both girls back and forth. Uh, Vias won the first set 6-4. Wilder won the second set 6-4. Rick just doing a quick check on Twitter, looks like, from the Center Grove Track Twitter account. 
Center Grove won the Mick Championship in the 4x800 relay. That's uh, Sauer, Rockwell, Montgomery, and Antle. That's pretty that good because that's not typically one of those events that some of those longer distance ones are ones that Center Grove, if they can get points in, then uh, they got a chance to, to hopefully to win that. They were county champs this past Monday as well. Big difference between the, the county meet and the big meet. BS, BS wins that first first point, so she's up 1-0. Now she'll serve twice. So this rotate just like a typical tie break at the end of the set. They'll uh, they'll rotate two serves, and then when they get to six points total, then they'll switch sides. Remember, Vias was in this situation on Monday as well, Kevin. She split sets against Franklin in the county championship and then won the third set 10-8 in that super tie break. So uh, she's been here as recently as four days ago, and now she's up 2-0. She's up now three left. Three zero, so now back to Wilder for two serves. So now uh, That's better. Six ball tough here. One one three. Hey, you're telling the truth. One three. Ow. Second serve for Wilder. Inside the baseline, so a couple big points there for Wilder getting her back in this tie break. So now he uh, serving, uh, still up 3 2. So one point here, and then uh, they'll switch sides. Vias won the first three points, and then Wilder responds with three straight points of her, of her own. So, again, you see the scores there, 6-4. Vias won that opening set. Wilder wins the second set, 6-4, and now we're tied in the tiebreaker here at 3-3. Center Grove has won the uh, overall match, 4-0. Trying to make it 5-0, but uh, Wilder trying to make a comeback here after being down 6-4 in that first set. Six 
they can serve. switch made a completely different game on both sides of the court even though the wind has died down a little bit Kevin finally but still just a different uh, a different ball game on each side of the court as we've seen throughout the match today second serve now we just get to see Ten by two, Kevin. No! So uh, Wilder will be serving five, seven, shove one on this side, and then uh, BS will have two. So really close, just like it's been all all match, Kevin. Uh, very two, okay. two stay very, here we go. Stay positive. very here we go. closely closely matched girls here, and it's been a really good match. Well played.
What a point. Mar marathon. So Vios leads at 8 5. Here in the tiebreaker. And first player to 10 to win by two. I said that. Six now, Vias. Make her play here. Make her play. She'll miss. Just make her play. First serve, long. Second serve, Vias. there by by Vias and now she has uh, she has three match points. Second serve. Sonia Vias wins it here on court number two in the number two singles match, 6-4, 4-6, and then 10-6 in the tiebreaker. And ice in the veins, Rick Embry. <laughs> That's two uh, third set uh, tiebreaks that she's won this week. So uh, clutch down the stretch. Really nice match there and a great performance by Center Grove tonight. I think it's time to go warm up. I agree. <laughs> I, I'm with you. I don't drink coffee, but I might uh, have a hot chocolate or something when I get home. Good right. match, Kevin. Uh, fun time out here. Uh, great performance by by both teams, and uh, and Center Grove gets the 5-0 win. So congratulations to the Trojans on the win, and uh, Oldenburg Academy, very competitive here today, coming all the way over from the Batesville area, and uh, again, they were here a couple of years ago for the semi-state, so I know they got a very prideful uh, tennis program. They do, and, uh, and I would expect to see them, uh, you know, be one of the possibilities to, to be back here during the semi-state, and, and hopefully Center Grove uh, uh, will be there as well. Today's Center Grove girls tennis match was presented by Johnston's and produced by CG Sports Network. Once again, number eight, Center Grove beats Oldenburg Academy 5-0. Center Grove now 9-3 on the season. Holderberg Academy suffers its first loss of the season. They fall to 9-1. Again, our next stream will be coming up on Tuesday when the Center Grove softball team hosts North Central at 5-30 for senior night. Our next tennis stream won't be until May the 11th. It'll be senior night when the Trojans host Bloomington South. Until next time, this is Kevin Conrad for Rick Embry saying so long, everyone from the Center Grove Tennis Center.